Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very good. Nice. Yeah. And How you? Was, at uh, home. At home, yes. Mm. Um, I went to San Salvador in the afternoon and I came back like about 4.30 p.m. So mm. and it, was, it was raining or? It was raining. And that's why okay. I came back to Lourdes fast because it was raining and that you need to take more time, you know. Oh. So, but it, it was good after all. What about you? Was it raining in San Miguel? Um, no, only cloudy. Okay. All, all day, all, all day. Okay, all right. Yeah, and the weather is really good right now. Okay, really good. good. Yeah, uh, here uh, at the beginning, in like early in the morning, it, 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 it looked cloudy. And I thought that it was going to stay cloudy, but uh, like about 11.30, it began to rain. Um, dicen que es como un temporal, algo mejor que sea temporal. Yeah, a rainy spring. Yeah, a rainy spring. Rainy spring. Right. Because uh, so. <laughs> it, it rained like three hours, you know. It, it wasn't hard, but it was raining. Yep, so. No, here only cloudy. Okay, all right. So so the weather is, is, is better than usual. Better. Good. Really good. All right, good. Jimena, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Good, how was your day? It's good. Good? It's very good, yes. Nice. So you were home all day resting? Yes. Uh, in the afternoon, I visit my my parents. Okay. Do they live my, uh, my near sister? you? Uh -huh. no, no. They live in Antiguo Cucatlán. Okay. And you're in Santa Tecla or Lourdes. You're in Lourdes. No, Lourdes. Mm -hmm. sí. Right. Yes. Right. Okay, fine. Good. Maria, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine with you. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Thanks. Did you work today, Maria, or did you rest? I rest. Okay, good. Ronald, how was your day, Ronald? Hello, teacher. It was good. I'm All very right. happy because it's Friday. Yes. Fridays are good. Yeah. <laughs> is, is Friday your favorite day of the week? Yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite, it's my favorite day because tomorrow always, usually I do a lot of errands. So I try to, to to, to do something today and tomorrow mm -hmm. do my responsibilities. All right, good, good, nice. Christian, Christian Alexander. Hi, teacher. How are you, Christian? Good night. I am fine, and you? I'm doing okay. Did you work today or did you rest? Uh, you work. No, you work. Sorry. You worked. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. So welcome back, everybody. Can you please remind me today's date? Do you remember the date for today? It's Friday, twenty first. Yes. It's Friday 21st. What date is tomorrow? Saturday. Uh-huh. And the date? 22nd. 22nd. Exactly. What was yesterday? What 
what date was it yesterday? Thursday. Okay, and the date? So if today is the 20th. 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 Right. Because remember that dates in English are always um, ordinal numbers. So you're supposed to say 20th. Yes, 21st, 22nd, and so on. All right, so let's talk about yesterday. Uh, do you remember the topics that we covered yesterday? Do well, you? first we were talking about some vocabulary. Okay. For example, we learned some words, a napkin, apron, tray, cup for, uh, cup for utensils, Okay. In order to improve our vocabulary. Okay, good, good. Yes, so we have five new words and they were related with things in a restaurant, in a kitchen, in a cafeteria. So related with food. Very good. Uh, are there any questions about the meaning or pronunciation of those five words? Class? Any questions or comments? No? Okay. Your silence answers for you. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Me, me, me. me. Okay, Christian. Okay, I, I have a question. Yes. I have a question because yesterday I, I failed or fallé. I failed? How do you say I failed? And, and some words in at moment I I write wrote. Okay. And my my question is: exist the technique or suggestion for, for to improve writing? writing? Improve okay. Writing when? Okay. Um. That's a very good question, and unfortunately, you know that. How many vowels do we have in English? How many vowels? How many do five. we have? Five. But those five vowels, they have different sound. For example, let me give you an example. Um, let's say this one. How do you pronounce that word? The one in the chat. In the chat. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, car. Car. How do you pronounce that word? They. They. Okay. And then you have the last one. How do you pronounce that one? Call. Call. So we have exactly the same letter with three different sounds. So there is no explanation to know when you will say a, ah, when you will say a, or when you will say oh. So it's really difficult to have techniques in order to improve your writing. However, one thing that is really, really effective is reading. When you see the word, you see it again, again, and again, and you internalize it. And when you internalize it, usually uh, the spelling is, is, is in, the, in the right form. So what I can suggest to improve writing is uh, read. Because when you read, you see the words and you check the spelling. Yes. Okay. Thank right. you, teacher. Yes. Okay, anybody else has any other questions or comments? Someone else, someone else, no? Okay, so we, uh, we start with the first activity. Uh, when does your weekend begin? When do you start your weekend? It's a question, when do you start your weekend? Do you start your weekend tonight, tomorrow, 
Sunday. When do you start your weekend? Today at midnight. To okay. All right. Good. Sunday. Oh. All right, so it's today at midnight and it finishes on Sunday. So the first activity, you guys are gonna be working in pairs and um, you will talk about the plans that you have for this weekend. So go here. Ha, 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 but why? Okay, let me see this here. Room three, room five. Okay, so we have, and he will move to room five as well. All right, are you guys ready? Are you yes. ready? Yes. All right, so let's begin. Hello, Helen. Hello, Sophia. Helen, Helen. Sorry, I I closed the the app. The access. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. I'm sending you. you back to room one. I wash my clothes and in the afternoon maybe I I will take a rest for me and at nine I have to prepare all to begin the the other week so just that what about you busy Christian? weekend yes <laughs> I don't have, really I don't have it's a, that, that is a good idea. It's a good idea, yes. But I don't know, maybe when my daughter sleeps, I sleep with her. <laughs> and before coronavirus, uh, on weekends, uh, usually what, do, what did you do? What did you... Um, visit my, my parents, my... I don't know how to say suegros. O sea, si se suegra y suegro, Grand, pero... Grandfather. No, uh, you say my parents-in-law. My, ah, uh, my parents-in-law. Ajá. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. So anybody that is related to your husband's family or your wife's family, um, they always mm -hmm. have the in-law termination. Okay. Right. I so, visit my, my, my parents and my parents-in-law and sometimes I, I will uh, go to, to Izalco and, mm -hmm. and that's it. Who, who lives in Izalco? Uh, 
uncle of my husband. Ah. Mm -hmm. Isalco has a, a, a lot of history. Yes, yeah. in the Holy Week, maybe. Uh huh. It's the, I don't know, it's the most important. Uh, Period. Exactly. Right, right. And also, they have some um, some last names that are very unique. They are not common to hear them. For, in for example, Palucha. Palucha. Sí, yeah. Okay. I, I had a friend uh, from the university. His last name was Ping Ting. The, the two last names were, were not common, mm -hmm. Ping Ting something. But it was very, uh, very unique. The last names were very mm -hmm. unique. And they are originally from Isalco. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, I think it's interesting. Okay. What is your husband's last name, uh, Jimena? Uh, uh, the, the father is Castro and the mother is Romualdo. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, Romualdo is not too common. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Castro the... is, but not Romualdo. Romualdo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Good. I always yeah. work all day. <laughs> so. Yes. Me either. You work every day, uh, Helen? In this week, yes. Well, only I didn't work yesterday. Okay. And then I have to work Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So you rest uh, one day in the week? One day, maybe two, but this week I only rest one day. Okay. Is the hotel ready for Monday to reopen? Uh, we are almost ready because we are going to open the restaurant. I mean the the table service. Table. Okay. A service exactly, and we are going to see what happens. Exactly. It's, yeah. Yeah. We don't know how the the people is going to react. To accept, react exactly. Right. So, right. Yeah, it's it, it's a, it, it's a matter of of waiting. Exactly. Yeah. And you, Mercy, do you work every day? Uh, yes, I work from Monday to Saturday at no. twelve p.m. Okay, good, good. No, I yeah, I on Saturdays I just work in the morning. Okay, so you finish at noon. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Short days are are really nice. Yes, but I feel like I have to work the whole day because really? I lost all the morning. Yes. Okay. And do you have to physically be there Saturday morning? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I have to be there. <laughs> And what's the distance from your house to your to your work? It takes just 15 minutes. Oh, it's not much. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's that's good. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let me visit one more. Interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting. <laughs> Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, that, that series um, um, put the, the Lucifer uh, how a good person. Mm. Okay. As a good, good person. person. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. He's a good person. The, he is not bad and don't have, don't has um, doesn't bad have intent. Uh -huh. so okay. Doesn't have uh, bad intentions. Uh huh. The, uh, in in that in that in the series, the Lucifer is is the the victim. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's the victim because, 
I, I imagine it's, it's very cool. It's very cool. It's very cool. I imagine it's, it's this, like a uh -huh. it's like a, a vacation for 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 he for him mm -hmm. he for him for him for him uh -huh. in in Los Angeles or or Nueva York. I don't Los remember. Angeles. Maria, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Okay. He lives. He lives in Los Angeles. Okay. I I imagine they are uh, demonios, the De demons. Demons, yes. Demons and diamonds or demons. No, uh, demons. De demons. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Demons promise you diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. This is uh, will be my little secret because my parents. Uh, oh. Yes, Rana. <laughs> Time is over. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Mm. Teacher, yes. How do you say, como te acostumbras? You get used to it. You can used to it. Yeah. Let you me get, let me read in the in the chat. You, uh, you get used to it. You get. You get used to it. Get okay. Right. Thank you. So yeah, said, let's say uh, I will okay. go to New York and people tell you, oh, but New York is very cold and it's a big city and everybody speaks the language, but that's not a problem. You will get used to it. Te acostumbra. Okay. Te acostumbrarás, okay. Yeah, if it's in future, you will say you will get used to it. Don't worry. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. The hot weather. Yes. You hate the hot weather. You I that I I cannot be uh, good in San Miguel. No, you can't. <laughs> Here is really hot. Here in in La Union are the most hottest. Are the hottest cities. Are the hottest. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> the San, <most> <laughs> Santa, Santa Rosa de Lima is really hot. But I think La Unión is húmedo. Huh? Es bien húmedo. Eso hace que se sienta más calor. Yeah, it's wet, hot and wet. Hot, hot and, and humid. Wet, hot and humid. Hot, hot and humid. So that's why I feel that is... The, the, the weather is hot. really hot. hot. Okay, right. Really hot. You don't like hot More weather. More than San Miguel for me. 
Okay, but you're used to it, uh, <laughs> Helen. Uh, Helen, you're used to the weather uh, in San yeah. Miguel. Uh, I, I don't know if, if I can say it because I work in an office all day uh -huh. with AC. Okay. So I don't feel too much. The temperature. The outside weather, so. Okay. Exactly, so. All right. When it's my day off, day I, <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like, <laughs> yeah. like good. I, I remember the times yeah, that I visited I San Miguel by bus, you know, the air conditioner, really nice. And when you get off the bus, <laughs> you feel the impact of the temperature. Ooh, like exactly. really, really, like my goodness. You go from a fridge to a microwave oven. Exactly. <laughs> so the, 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 the difference is very drastic. Exactly. Okay, so exactly. let's go back. Okay. All right, welcome back. Any questions or comments about the plans that you and your friends have for this weekend? No? Okay, so um, now we go with the vocabulary section. Uh, the vocabulary for today is, is kind of easy. I'm pretty sure uh, you guys have seen it before. Let me see if I can find it. It's right here. Can you see the uh, the document? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. So let me let me find your group so I can send you this um, this vocabulary. Ha ha ha. See this here. Okay, um, number two, three, four, and five, they have something in common. So you and your friend will discuss what is the thing that they have in common. So he will go to room two. Uh, she will go here. She will go to room th three, All right? He will go to room three. And we're going to change her to room four, move to room four, and then she will go to room six. And that way, everybody has a room. Room five. Room five. And I guess that is it. Okay, so uh, let's discuss the, the definition of the words. Remember that one technique to understand the, the meaning of the vocabulary is to use images. Images are very effective.
Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Samuel? I feel uh, tired because I was sleeping. So I already wake up and, and I feel a little bit tired. Okay. So do, do you work tomorrow? No, hopefully no. Okay. So is there a possibility that they contact you and they tell you, Samuel, you, you have to work tomorrow? Mm, no. You? No, like, uh, because I asked you if you work tomorrow. Ah, the, the, the company. Uh-huh. Uh, no, uh, sometimes I have to work uh, because I have to prepare something for a special uh, delivery or something like that. But, uh, comes, uh, they call me, but it, it could happen because uh, you never know. Okay. A client could make a, a, a big uh, order, so uh -huh. I have to work. Okay. And, and what is the specialty of the bakery somewhere? Do they have mm. a specialty or they make everything in general? No, the specialty is uh, la quesadilla. Oh, okay. Good. Mm. So quesadillas are good there. Really, pretty delicious. I don't know if you have ever uh, tasted it, it could be possible that you ever uh, prove uh, or taste the, the, the quesadilla. I don't know if, if you visit the gas station that is staying in the, uh, in the Mas Ferrer. I don't know how they say Randel. How this? Runabout. Randel. Runabout. Let, let me write it for you in the chat. Uh, R U N. No, R O U N D. About, run about, run about. Run. Okay, run about. The, the gas station that is stay in the runabout of the Mas Ferrer. Okay. Uh, we sell some quesadillas there in two presentations, one in, in a box with, okay. eight, with six uh, cupcakes okay. and uh, one more or bigger, I don't know if you have ever buy something in there. Uh, I have, but honestly, um, when because I love sweet bread, I love quesadillas, semitas, cakes, everything, everything that is sweet, I love it. So sometimes, if the if the if the bread looks nice, appealing, I take it, but I don't pay attention to the name. So maybe I have tried uh, the bread that your bakery makes. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, because uh, the bakery is not uh, popular, or the name is uh, uh, conocido. It's not uh, well known. It's, it's not, not well, known. well known. So, like little well known. Okay. Yes. Let Let me write it okay. for you. It's not well known. Well, well, uh, known is yeah, well known, well known. Ah, well known. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Maria, so do you, uh -huh, it could yeah. be that you, you just buy it. Right, and, and, and like I said, you know, like sometimes, uh, uh, you buy things and you don't pay attention to the name. So you say that you guys have the bread in the Texaco, uh. Uh, Lucero. Yes. All right. Okay, good. All right. I will let you speak with Maria. <laughs> okay. Y ahí es como un diccionario de inglés. Ajá. Diccionario de inglés. Vaya, pero vamos a ver si lo... Araceli. Hello, teacher. Were you on vacation yesterday, Araceli? I, I have a problem in the connection. 
uh, this is the pay me uh, your teacher in other meeting. Really? Yes. Uh, I contact uh, English Corporativo uh -huh. and he her my, my, my help. Ellos oh. me ayudaron a ingresar ahora. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's that's good. I'm glad to see you again. It's good that you are back. Sí, ahora ya pude ya pude ingresar aunque sea tarde, pero Okay, very pero... good. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's a good opportunity per year. No, per month. In the United per month. Oh my god. In this for a lawyer. Could be yeah. It could be a, a a great opportunity, but they need people that know 80 80% who we have to give the our own definition. Yes. To to, the, to the five words? You mean the five words that we have in the document? Mm -hmm. Yes, if you know the definition, you use your own vocabulary to explain, or you can use a dictionary, or you can use um, images, Google images, which are very effective. Okay. Yes. Thank you. How was your day, Rocio? I'm okay, teacher. Okay. Really? Did you work? You? Did you work? Yes. Yes. All, right. All day. All right. Oh, uh, I don't know how to say tela. Fabric. Huh? Cloth. Fabric. Or? Fabric. Ah. Fabric. Yeah, cloth. Uh, uh, it could be tela, but cloth uh, makes reference to ropa. Now, mm. if you're talking about the material that you use to make ropa, you say fabric. Fabric. Mm -hmm. Fabric, oh, yes. Okay. So can you mention examples of fabric? Mm. A cotton? Cotton. cotton. Yes, cotton. cotton. Cotton is an example. Polyester, cordon. Polyester. Then it is linen or lining, linen. Uh huh. So all those are examples of uh, fabric. 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 Yes, fabric okay. is the word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will. We will find the synonyms for tablecloth. Okay. So so what is a tablecloth? In Spanish, is is mantel. Uh huh. So, how will you explain mantel. the word tablecloth in English? A cloth that you use for covering the table. Good. Uh, Good. Before uh, eat. Exactly. Yeah, it's for decoration, uh, mm -hmm. but in some cases, it's not decoration. It's part of the discipline that people have when they eat mm -hmm. so yeah What's that? so that, that would be, yes it's difficult to to find for me a synonym of fried okay i, I understand what it's fried but or how can you explain or, fried? okay <laughs> fried. okay i forgot to write something fried egg Scrambled egg, boiled egg. And it's the same with boiled. Right. Okay. So let me let me uh let let me take a picture because I forgot to make some modifications to the to that document. Okay, do you receive the uh, the document in the WhatsApp chat? Yes, yes. Okay, so two, three, four, yeah. and five, they are different presentations of eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's the, the, the explanation is very simple. Uh, mm -hmm. In English, when uh, you want to say huevo picado, huevo estrellado, tibio, you, you have to think about the process that people apply mm -hmm. to, to use the name. So mm -hmm. fried egg, what is fried egg? Huevo frito, what, is, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. How do you say huevo frito in El Salvador? Estrellado. Estrellado. Exactly, exactly. So the names from number two, three, four, and five, the names are literal for eggs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So go Fried ahead. Eggs. Ah, okay. okay. Ya. Ya Got it? Those are presentations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. All right. Huevo <laughs> revuelto. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? It's Thank fry you. in the open. Uh, it's fry in the open. I want to fry. Fry. Of the document. Yeah. Teacher, how you to say um, interpelación? Uh, questioning. <laughs> Questioning. Questioning. Now, now questioning the uh, Minister of Defense. <laughs> yeah, the Minister of Defense. The Minister of Defense now, in this moment. Oh, and who is the Minister of Defense? In the Asamblea Legislativa. Oh, today, today, right. Today, yes. this, the, this, the, this, this, this morning. Exactly. This, this Exactly. True. Está sufriendo. Okay. How many hours did they uh, question the Minister of Defense? Do you remember? Um, Three hours, um, four hours? What did they? What, what did they? Uh, ¿Cuál es el nombre? Any host, teacher. Eh? The person. I continue, teacher. Okay. All right, Araceli, what is your question? Araceli? Um, uh, answer in the Ministry of Defense. Uh, uh, Francis Merino. Sí, um, pero una de las preguntas que le hicieron, que ¿cuál es el nombre uh -huh. de la persona que dio la orden para entrar ahí? Okay, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, and did no, you answer? No. No, no dio, no dio nombre. Okay. Yeah, it, everything is political, you know, like they're trying to take advantage of all these situations. Yeah. So we will see what happens. We will see what happens. Okay. All right. Teacher. Hello. When you uh, uh, talk about the future, mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. So Maria said that she will look a movie, but I think that the correct uh, sentences is watch a movie, no? Okay. okay, it depends. You can say, look for a movie, watch a movie, and see a movie. The three options are good, okay. but the meaning is completely different in each one. So, for example, my plans for tomorrow, I'm going to watch a movie with my kids. I will mm -hmm. enjoy the movie. Now, if I said, uh, I'm going to look for a movie, that means voy a buscar una película. So it's good mm -hmm. too. Or you can say, okay. see a movie, it's very general. You see the movie and you say, I'm going to watch that movie tomorrow. So the three options are good. It all depends what your message is. Okay, because I was uh, a little bit confused because she said that and I, I, I stay thinking, uh, I think that is watch, I think that is watch, but uh, is, that, is that for that? Because you have to create a, uh, the meaning. Right, and what was your sentence, Maria? Um. 
I will watch a movie. You will watch a movie. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. So if you're making plans to spend two or three hours relaxing, you're watching a movie. You're watching a movie. Okay, thanks. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the main session. All right, um, what's the meaning of number one, tablecloth? What is tablecloth? Manteles. Okay, and how can you explain that uh, definition in English? In a definition of, in English, it could be the decoration that you put it in a table. Okay, sometimes it's for decoration, right. In other cases, uh, people use tablecloth because it's normal for them to eat with a tablecloth. Yes. All right. Um, what about uh, the other one? Fried egg. What's the meaning of fried egg, class? So you go to a cafeteria, you go to a restaurant in the United States, and you ask the person um, that you want to eat breakfast. And you say, I want to eat eggs. And they ask you which form, which presentation. So how do you say fried eggs in Spanish? Huevo estrellado. Estrellado. So if you think fried means frito, and it makes reference to the, to the process that you make. What do you need to fry something? Oil. Oil, exactly. What about number three, scrambled eggs? When you mix the egg with egg. another ingredient. Very good. When you mix the eggs with another ingredient. What is the typical ingredient that people use with scrambled egg? Onion. Tomato. Onion. Tomato, onion. Mushroom. Green pepper. Green pepper. Green pepper. Green pepper. Mushroom. I don't know. Cheese, ham, maybe cheese. Ham and cheese, right? Right. Okay, very good. Now, what about boiled egg? What is the meaning of the word boiled? Herbido. Herbido. So, how do you say boiled egg in El Salvador? Huevo duro, no. Huevo duro. Yes. So once again, when you want to make reference to the to the to the name, you think about the process. Because how do you prepare a huevo duro? You put it in water and you boil the water. So you say boil boiled egg. And what about the last one? Half boil. So if number four is huevo duro, what is half boil? Medio huevo duro. <laughs> <laughs> Medio huevo tibio. Huevo tibio, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you say huevo tibio. So when you go to a restaurant, cafeteria, or if you're speaking with a gringo and this gringo doesn't speak Spanish and you want to talk about breakfast, uh, and you want to talk about the presentation of eggs, you just need to remember about the process of how you prepare it. And there you will have it. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about today's vocabulary? No? Okay. So let's continue. And... Um, do you remember the first topic that we covered the first week of class? The first grammatical topic. Hotter, wetter, smaller, more expensive, 
More comparative. Comparative. Comparatives. All right. So today we will have a review with comparatives. Ha, ha, ha. Save. So we share this here. Okay. Share. You know that I lost my internet earlier. Um, I was teaching another class and I lost the internet. So I thought that it would be a possibility to cancel this class, but thank God that I fixed it. All right, anyways. Um, Okay, do you see the document? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so we're going to do the first one first. Ha, ha, ha. Da, da, da. And here we go. Okay, so you have new Long, expensive, big, small, good, bad, fast, thin, pretty, slow, beautiful, exciting, fat, clean, handsome, young, large, tall, and intelligent. Um, any questions about the meaning of these um, adjectives? About thin, number nine. Number nine is like thin. Delgado. Yes. What is the oh, okay. opposite of thin? Fat. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, um, fat, you know, in, in English, when people say fat, uh, they usually use it to make a person feel bad. So if you want to use another word, you will say overweight. Overweight. So, Oh, okay, thank you. Uh-huh. So fat is, is a legal word, but people usually, usually use it to offend uh, others. So it's better to say okay. overweight. Uh -huh. overweight. Fat overweight. Is, a, is, is an often. Uh, often. Uh, it, you know, fat, is, it's the real meaning is not bad. It's someone that has extra pounds. But people use a lot this word to offend others. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, um, any other questions about this vocabulary? Um, teacher. Yes, sir. I, I don't remember what is the meaning. Handsome. Number. Handsome. Guapo. Yes, handsome can be guapo. Thank you. Thank guapa. You. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Right. No one like us. Exactly. Someone <laughs> like you guys. Exactly. Thank you, Rocio. <laughs> All right. Anybody else has any other questions? The, the synonym uh, fat is overweight. Overweight. Yes. Let, overweight. Let, let, let me write it in the chat. It's overweight. Over. Overweight. Overweight. Okay. Overweight. Thank you. So, so sometimes people say, man, I need to go to the gym because I am overweight. Okay. But you, you, can, you can perfectly use the word fat. And if you're not using it to offend uh, others, that's, that's, that's okay too. Okay. All okay. right. So let me make the, um, let me make the groups. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, move to room seven. Mm -hmm. Move to room seven. Move to room three. Move to room two. Move to room five. 
and move to room five as well. So we have this here. Let me move her to room five. And she will be moved to room four. Okay, so here we go, people. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you, teacher? I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. How was your day? It was really busy. I oh. did go oh. home so um, so late. Okay. Arrived 7.30. Oh, that's a little bit late. But they give you yes. transportation? Yes, the company give me transportation. All day. Okay. okay, I went to get the gloves. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's okay. Yeah. When you need. Yes, thank you. Welcome to the All right. What um, are you are you doing? Uh, I'm going to send you to room eight with Sophia and Jimmy. So you guys work with um, uh, with the exercise that I just sent to the. Uh, to the WhatsApp chat. Okay. So in the WhatsApp chat, I send an image with uh, 20 different words. You just have to write the comparatives. Okay, teacher. Thank All right, you. good. Um, write the comparatives. Yeah, write the comparatives. For example, okay. Yeah, so what would be the, the answer for number one? For example, the first one is new. What is the, the comparative for? The answer is old. Uh, old? Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Let, no, hold on, let me see this. Okay, so you just have to write the comparatives. In the case of, of old, that would be the opposite. Oh. So what is the comparative of new? Do you say newer or more new? Newer. Newer, new exactly. Newer. So you just have to write the comparative form. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. And where is Mercy? Helen. Helen Mercedes. Is. <laughs> yes, it, yeah, she is. Oh, yeah, Helen. <laughs> Helen, uh -huh. Helen, right, right. Teacher, Mercy. <laughs> no, I, 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 is mercy. <laughs> I, I, I got confused. I thought that uh, Marcella was working with Mercy, but it's not Mercy, it's uh, Helen. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. Good. I was washing my hair and all that because I just arrived home. Okay, good, good. Worse. W. W R F T. W O R S T, yes, worse. Faster. Yes, faster. The, the number 10. Thin, uh, number nine. Thin. Uh, uh -huh. Number nine. Thinner. How do you spell thinner? T H I N E R. 
One you N or double N? N. Uh huh. When when do you double the last the last consonant? When they finish in in as uh, you explain it that when they finish in in I don't remember the word. When they termine in una in in consonant vowel consonant. But, Consonant, vowel, consonant. So H is a consonant. I is a vowel. N is a consonant. So when the when the when the word has only one syllable, and the last three letters is a consonant, vowel, consonant, you have to double the last consonant. Yes, like fat, bigger. Right. Right. Smaller. Exactly. Yes. Thanks. All right. Ati. Yes. Can you just uh, you compare it? Yes. Uh, number thirty. Long, short. Long. Can be short. Or if long is largo, short is pequeño, corto. Okay, but what would be the comparative form? Teacher, we have a doubt. Okay, what we is are it now? Confused. We are confused in the activity, in the picture cell activity one, write a comparative, but you explain about the opposite of some words. What we have to do, the comparative or the opposite? Okay. Uh, um. The, your first uh, assignment is to write the comparative, but mm -hmm. if you have the vocabulary to include the, the opposite, that's, that's okay too. Mm, can be both. It can be both, but make sure that the comparative form is your priority. Mm, it's like a for review. Exactly, for exactly. Review. Only for review, exactly. Mm. Okay, yeah, only uh, put in the chat. No? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Activity one. Yes. This this audio in this page, mm -hmm. and this is a good and excellent page, and you can practice the listening. Yes. What's the name of the page? Ron Chan teacher, R O N G. I don't know uh, how do you say. A guion? Uh, dash. Dash. R O A R O G. Ash. R O N G. Yeah. Okay, let me write it. R O N G. R O N G. Dash. Uh huh. C H. Uh huh. A G. C H A G. Ron Chang. Ron Chang. Chang. With N. I. Oh. Wrong teacher. Wrong oh, with Chang. N. Okay, mm -hmm. wrong Chang. Okay. Wrong Chang. Mm -hmm. Okay. First time that I hear it, I will check it out. I, I told her, I told Jimena that that you put a, a, a audio this 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 week. Uh-huh. So I can find it in this page. All right, good. I will check it out. Yeah. Good, good. So we have this here, right here. All right, you guys ready? Yes. Yes. All right, so let's, let's go back. All right, so let's, um, before we continue, let me take attendance. Um, Sophia Stephanie? Present. Okay, Fernando, he's absent. Coralia, she's absent. Ronald? Present. Okay, Marcela, Katia Marcela? 
Uh -huh. She's not in her seat right now. Uh, Jimmy? Present. Okay. Uh, Christian Alexander? Present. Very good. Josué Edgardo? He's absent. Jimena Alexandra? Present. Very good. Samuel? Samuel, Samuel, are you here? Maybe he's not in his, okay, he's, right. okay, he's, okay. Rocio. Rocio, okay. Uh, Mercy. Present. Araceli. Present, teacher. Okay, very good, Maria. Present, teacher. Nice. Helen? I'm here. Good. Luis? Present, teacher. Very good. Stephanie Montano? Here, teacher. Very good. Christian Omar? Present, teacher. Very good. Wendy Guadalupe? Present, teacher. And Magdalena. She is not here. Okay. All right. So, um, Let's check the answers for um, this document here. Uh, the opposite of new? Newer. 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 Comparatives. We're working with comparatives right now. What about long? Longer. 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 Expensive? More expensive. <laughs> Big? Bigger. 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 One G or double G? Double G. G. When do you double the last consonant? When the word is consonant, consonant vowel, vowel consonant. consonant. Good. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Very good. Uh, small? Smaller. Smaller. Good? Better. 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 Bad? Worse. Worse. Fast? Faster. 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 Thin? Thinner. 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 One N or double N? Double N. Double N. Pretty. More pretty. Okay. Pretty. Prettier. 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 How do you spell prettier? P R E T T I E R. Good. P R E T T I E R. Very good. Slow? Slower. Slower. Beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. Exciting? More exciting. More exciting. Fat? Fat. 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 Clean? Cleaner. Cleaner. Handsome? More, More handsome. handsome. More handsome. Young? Younger. 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 Large? Larger. 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 Tall? Tall. 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 And intelligent? More, More intelligent. intelligent. All very right. Intelligent. Very good. Nice. Um, any questions there? Any questions, class? Uh, teacher. Yes, me. sir. I have yes. a question. Yes, sir. Uh, new, the, the adjective new is, uh, the, um, the comparative is newer, but... Yes. Uh, without double w. w exactly this w is a, a exception yes it's an exception when you have um, a w at the end you don't double the last w ah okay mm -hmm. new newer you only put e on got it got it okay so let yes. me send you the last uh, the last exercise and then we go to the book all right so let me assign you to work with a different person I will exchange with her I will exchange with her I will exchange with her. Uh -huh. Exchange with him. Exchange with her. 
I will exchange this person with him and uh -huh. move to room nine, move to room nine and that's it. You see this here? All right, so uh, do the last exercise. Uh, you Everybody has already a, a, a partner. So let's do this. Thank you. Where did you go? I want cars but are if you try if you try you can I, do I it. I try, I try, but but I I think slow for this moment. <laughs> Very <I know>. slow. <laughs> it's difficult, but you can yeah. do it. Okay. Cars are are than bicycles. Cars are fast faster than bicycles. Very good. Right. Okay. How to say estornudar? Sneeze. Yes. Sneeze. Sneeze a lot, but right now, when because my house is all closed, I'm I'm fine. Uh, my house is not. It's not all closed. I have a puerta de vidrio door. A glass door. A glass door. Glass door. Are you sick, Marcela? No, I am an allergy. Oh. Every night I always have an allergy it's for the weather. For the weather. Oh. Yes, because he 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 is cold. Here is cold. You, li you live in Santa Tecla. In La Cima. Oh yeah, it's it's a fresh area. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're drinking tea right now. Yes. <laughs> I can I'm see the I can tea. see the smog <laughs> of the of the cup. Okay. Thank you. I'm not concentrate today. Why? Why not, How do you Helen? feel? I'm thinking about something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> My sister no. is in the hospital, so. Really? So you're worried? She's have, yeah, I'm worried. She's having her baby, so. Oh, okay. Is she younger than you? She's the oldest. Okay. But she... I'm the mature in the family, so. Okay. But <laughs> she'll be work. okay. She will be okay. She will be okay. They will be okay. Exactly. Uh, she will I bring will a, a, a nice, healthy baby to this world. Yes. Good. My host is. Mount Everest is taller than Mount Blanc. No, yes. Higher. Or, yes, in, in, in this world is higher, but right. my, my question is, uh, then if, if I, I use the adjective tall in this case. Okay, uh, usually you use tall, for people. So you say, my brother is taller than I. If you're talking about buildings, say, man, that's a high building. That's a high mountain. Okay. 
So uh, tall is for people and high is for monuments, buildings, or things. Or in, uh, things exactly, exactly. Okay. Right. Okay. The number five. I didn't know that word. Con Which consume. word, Ronald? Consumir. Consume. Consume. Right. Salvadorians, okay. we're consumers. Yeah. Not producers. You're consumers. Where, where did you find that word? Because Maria told me about her experience in, in her job. Okay. Because she has a problem. Told, told him, Maria. Maria. <laughs> I'm all ears, Maria. <laughs> What's the story? Uh, one day in the last year, uh, a man um, uh, are, um, drunk. Uh -huh. A drunk man. A drunk man. Um, take a, a room and and he paid me with a credit card. Okay. And I I give I give him the credit card, but he say he say the the contrary. The opposite. The opposite. So he uh, told me. Um, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo me dijo que era Roma? <laughs> What? What? Ah, thief. 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 Uh -huh. So he was accusing you. Yes. yes. And what was the result at the end? How did you solve the situation? Um, I, I just say no. It's, it's, it's no. I, I, give, I give you the credit. Uh-huh. And he no. And he insisted. Yes. So later, just just going um, to the room. <laughs> okay. Did you yes. see him the following day? Um, no. Ni siquiera pasó por la recepción. Okay. So he felt uh, uh, embarrassed, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Yeah, those those situations are common, especially when you're dealing with someone that is drunk. You know, you can expect uh, almost everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey there. Hey there. Okay. Number four it says Mont Everett is high. Higher. I miss. The H, right? Uh, yeah, and only one G. Ah, okay. And and longer has only one G too. Right. Okay. That that's perfect. The but, same. Uh -huh, yes. But why sometimes we have to put W consonant if I hear. You have to put double consonant when you listen the word. Uh huh. V vowel? Consonant, the vowel, consonant. Consonant, yes. vowel, consonant. And in this case, in longer, it's vowel, consonant, consonant. It's different. Mm. So it has to be consonant, vowel, uh -huh. consonant. Only under oh. no, only under that circumstance you double the last consonant. Ah oh, yes, I get it. Okay, <clears throat> and the same thing with large and clean. Only one n and only one g. Okay. And then, uh, if it's a consonant vowel consonant, then you you double the last consonant. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Porque son de los mismos socios. 
Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. The same partners. <laughs> the same partners. Yes, I, I college me, uh, my co, co, co mate. Four, four, four different three. companies. Yes, I work in Pantinaí. I uh -huh. am Pista La Conta. Okay. All right. And does Pansinaí have other businesses? Eh, businesses que si hacen negocios. Si tienen otros negocios, aparte del pan. Yes. Yes. Eh, em, em, em by, eh, business. Her name is eh, MF Logistics. Pista Inversiones. Ok. Eh, eh, productos alimenticios en eh, Pantinaí. Ok, different names, different, different yes. markets. Yes. Ok, good, good. All right. Did you finish the exercise? Yes, teacher. Yes. Luis and Araceli. Yes, ok, so it's almost time to go back to the main session. Give me a second, right here. Hello, hello. Hello. Did you, did you guys finish the exercise? Yes. Yes, you two are very fast. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. May I have a volunteer to give us the answer for the first Cars are faster than bicycle. Okay, cars are faster than bicycle. Very good. Very good. Number two? Elephants are heavier than Okay, elephants are heavier than ants. Okay, do you hear my echo? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. yes. Feedback. Yeah, feedback, feedback. Echo, feedback. Okay, let me check this. We, we don't listen, teacher. No. No, teacher. No, we can hear. No. No, teacher. No. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. No. 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 Yeah, the, the headsets. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Uh, what about number three? My brother is worse than me at science. Very good. Number four, Mount Everest is Mount Everest uh, is higher, higher than Mount Blanc. Than yes, Mount higher Blanc. than Mont Blanc. Very good. What about number five? <laughs> Snakes are usually longer than worms. Very good. Longer is the correct term. Number six, February. February is colder yeah. than June. Very good. Number seven, Chinese is. More difficult than Portuguese. Very good. Number eight. I am younger than my parents. Younger than my parents. What about number nine? My pencil is shorter. Shorter than yours. And the last one. My brother is better, better. than me and Max. 
Very good. Nice. Excellent job. Congratulations. All right. Um, any questions or comments about comparatives? Class? No, teacher. No? Okay, so let me close this and we go. Right here. All right, can you see the page? Yes, teacher. All right. Now, these are the questions you guys will be discussing. May I have a volunteer to read uh, these questions? Uh -huh. What is your daily schedule like that? Like schedule. Okay, your daily schedule at work. Uh huh. Who is in charge of organizing a staff shoeless in your company? Okay, very good. Thank you. So you say, what is your daily schedule like at okay. work? And the other question says, who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Is it the supervisor? Is it human resources? Is it the manager? So that's going to be the, 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 the conversation you guys will have. So, um, she will go to room three. And she will go to room two. She will go to room five. And she will go to room four. Then with her. With her, change with her. All right, so, um, change with her. All right. So answer those questions, class. Here we go. It was great, it was cool. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Perfect. The headsets that I have are giving me issues. I think it's time for me to change a, a, a different pair. But I saw that, that you have a, a lot of headphones. You know, I, I have two pairs, but yesterday, um, if you remember, I connected from my office. So it yes. was like 10.30 when I left. So I left the computer and the headsets in the office. So that's why I don't have the, the, the blue pair that the I blue. usually use. Yes. Right. So, but I'll, I'll, I'll be ready for Monday. Okay. All right. Pure after uh, I check the email too. Um, I check my agent. Uh, agenda? How, how do you agenda? Uh -huh. I check my agenda. And second, I I I check the. Ay, me he olvidado el nombre. Agenda, how do you say agenda? Agenda, de... agenda. 
agenda. Agenda. Uh -huh. For every every kid, uh, if they have a a note for the teacher, and the rest of the day, I I impart my my class, and then I have to to say goodbye to the kids with the microphone. Then it's my daily schedule at my work, in my physic work. And right now I I have to connect at 7 p.m. and then start to, to check the homework and maybe participate in a, a meeting with another teacher. Do you have big groups, Jimena? Uh, yes, the sections are formed by 25 or 26 students. Oh, but 25 and 26, is it's not that bad because I have worked in institutions where I have 40, 45 oh, students mm -hmm. in section. So 2025 is, is it's acceptable. A, uh, okay. <laughs> I think. Yes. All right. And, and maybe it's my daily schedule. Okay, good. Work. Very good. Mm -hmm. $25. Yes. You can reserve uh, one night with $25. They put that promotion. Where? Okay. With the camera on. How much? Twenty-five per person. Uh, yes, I will read. Uh, I I have a. I don't know how to say. A, membership. A membership in the camera. so they send you a, a mails for the promotion. Okay. okay. Uh, this exactly. is. I, a, I I see that promotion, but. The membership pays only $25, $25 per person per night for mm -hmm. all days of the week and all season. For example, uh, December uh, 31. Or 31st. Exactly, 31st or Semana Santa. How Holy Week. Holy Week. Holy Week. Holy Week is the same the same the same price twenty five dollar for Saturday or Monday or or holy holidays or thirty first December for example is the same price that is a promotion for memberships but that promotion finishes okay the specials okay so the special the, that 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 special is not good anymore. No, in this moment, the it uh, doesn't apply. With the other, with the the other, the other promotion, other special visit, other special for visit to the Cameroon. Okay, w what is the price right now? I don't have a membership, but if I wanted to visit, how much is the price? Seventy dollars. Uh, normally, normally is seventy or. Uh, one hundred one hundred ten dollars for um for per person for a, a Saturday night. Okay. All you can eat and all you can drink. All you can eat, all you can drink. Okay. All right. But good. they don't give you alcoholic drinks, so it's a it's a why not? It's a bad promotion. <laughs> I don't know when you are not membership. Uh, I remember they don't give you the alcoholic drinks. Uh, alcoholic drinks, yes. Oh. I went uh, uh, before I. How do you say? I I always uh, confuse before and after. Antes. After. Before. Before is antes. Before. Uh -huh. Okay. Before I I. I be a, I get my membership. Uh, they don't let me uh, get uh, alcoholic drinks. I don't know why. Okay. What is that? Is the the 
the only the observation. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, good. Uh, when the... Excuse me? The correct answer. The correct answer. Louis, the yeah. church of the nation itself. From America, because you need to, to answer to the customers, because you get a lot of calls in the day. Me imagino que necesitas saber de un montón de, de cosas dentro del banco. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, Christian, do you work with different types of clients? Mm. Like, if they call you, they said, okay, thank you for calling the bank. This is Christian and Franco. How can I help you? People ask you different things. Yes, different. Uh, uh, different call. questions. Yes. Okay. Do you speak with angry customers? Do you speak with angry customers? Le tocan clientes enojados. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, you, I think that all, all, all the places, all the working places, they have angry, angry. customers. Yeah. For different reasons. Yes. Right. Okay. In, car in cargar, charge. In, in, in charge cargar. of. In charge of. Let, let, let me write it in the chat. For example, in charge of. In charge. In charge of. In, in charge char of. So if I ask you, Luis, who is in charge of your house? Who uh, is in charge of your house? In my house, <laughs> I, I, I am in charge. I am in charge. Exactly. <laughs> Who is in charge of your office? Oh, my supervisor. My uh -huh. boss is, is the in charge. Right, right. So, estar a cargo de, you say, I am in charge. How do you say, quien está a cargo? Who is, who is in charge? Who is in charge? Quien está a cargo? Who is in charge? So imagine that you go to a restaurant and some and, and there is a problem. So you ask the waiter, discúlpeme, quien está a cargo? Who is in charge? Who is in charge? Who is in charge? He says, I am. Yeah. Why? <laughs> You have a problem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let me visit your friends. Okay. Mm, no, in the, in the reception, the desk? And the receptionist. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, Hi, how teacher. are you? Fine. Good. So who who is who is responsible to make the schedules in your offices? In my case, my supervisor. Okay. What about you? In my, in my case, the owner. The because owner. Because he have to to check where is the schedule for the drivers. Not for me. It's only for the drivers for the next day. If we have a lot um, delivery to send, yes, uh -huh. they have to call in another driver and resign the route for that to driver. Okay, so they designed the route for, for, for the other driver. And yes. we, do you guys cover all the country, all El Salvador? No, it's only San Salvador area. Oh, the metropolitan area. Yes, because only have uh, cells in Gavidia. Uh-huh. Um, for... 49 in Sur, and the new one he's going to open in the Monday 24 in uh, Plaza Mundo. 
Oh, okay. So, yeah, pango. Mm -hmm. So, yes. they sell medical things. They sell computer things like cameras and everything. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, we sell medic supplies. Uh-huh. Cameras. Uh, from the security area, right? Computers and his parts, and the last one is we sell events. Right, right. And that is my area. Sell okay, events. Okay, okay. So you guys have like three different markets: yes. medical supplies, computers, and events. Uh huh. And the last one, no. The you forget one is security and networks oh okay yeah when i went today i saw that they had different computers and different cameras for sale yes exactly for um i don't know how to say for menor and for mayor for okay. the companies okay so mayor you say the wholesale uh, for example, uh, the government, they uh -huh. always need uh, a lot of desktops or for the hospital, for the pandemic, we have to um, assign a lot of equipment, for example, uh, cameras for the march and all the areas for the hospital. Okay. And how much time have you worked there, Wendy? I have two and a half um, years. Okay. All right. And have you been always only in events? Yes, I love events. Okay. But for the pandemic, the up there assigned me like his, her um, assistant? assistant. I mean, yes. Okay, good. So right. right now I have three boss. Okay, so you report to three different people. Yes, for example, the owner, the um, director, the and director. What? Uh, the, di the director, no, not much, but uh, it's only for the owner and the manager of events. Okay, all right. So I imagine that when the emergency is over, events are coming again uh like before no. no 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 because well apart because we have a contract with the uh, intercontinental hotel and resorts okay so some uh, technicals have to come back to the hotel and i have to check my uh, all the keep equipment uh -huh. if everything is okay of the or maybe the manager of the hotel needs something i have to go all right interesting <laughs> all right so let me visit one more room yes okay. because she had a baby okay. two weeks ago so i have oh, yeah. to do my job and her job who so take care it's of a little baby. bit more stressful. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Who who take take care of your baby? Uh no, the that person has a baby two weeks ago. Ah. Ah, so okay. at the moment I have to do my job and her job. Okay, okay. Yes. This is it's stressful. Yes. yes. Your company is, is atento. No, Your company I is work atento. in La Casa de las Baterías. Ah, okay. Okay. And yes. they sell batteries yeah. only for cars, Mercy? No. Also with UPS, with motorcycles, oh. and another battery that you need. Oh, it's and, not for cars. Okay, and, 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 and where is it located? Uh, in the in the, 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 the in the country we have eleven stores. Oh, okay. All right. In which yes. which uh, but, uh huh? Yes, I am in the office. 
so you're doing administrative work? Yes, and also I am a receptionist. Okay, good, good. Good to know. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. All right, welcome back. So let's, um, where is that book? It's right here. So what is your daily schedule like at work? What time do you guys start working? What time do you start to work? Well, in my case, I work from Monday to Friday. Okay. And my schedule is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. sometimes. Okay. And I, work, I work Saturday from 8 to, to 12. But after coronavirus, my schedule changed. In Why? fact, nowadays I work from Why? 9 to, to 4 p.m. And Saturday I don't work. Okay. So do you prefer this schedule, I imagine? Yeah, teacher. <laughs> you you rest more. Yeah. Okay. Sophia, what time do you start working? My schedule is Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. I start eight a.m. and finish at Okay. All right. Who, some, somebody is, is, has a background noise. Who is it? Who is it? Okay. Um, Stephanie, what time do you start working? Stephanie Montano? I start working at 8, 8 a.m. to, uh -huh. uh, how do you say, sin hora de, de terminar, sin hora de finalizar. <laughs> <laughs> derecho a dormir. ¿Eh? Luis me entiende. Luis Señora. is my colleague <laughs> in, yes, the, uh, in the company. Uh -huh. So you say I start working at eight o'clock and I don't have a specific time to finish. And I don't have a specific time to finish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right. What about you, Helen? What time do you start your work? Every day at 7 a.m. Uh-huh. And uh, during the emergency to 3 p.m. or 5 p.m. All right. That, like uh, Stephanie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rocio, what about you? What is your schedule like? I work from Monday to Saturday, Saturday to I Este es donde? From 8 to 5 p.m. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Okay. All right. ¿Cuándo? What about you, Wendy? I start to 8 a.m. at 5.30 p.m. And I have to check everything is okay for the next day. Okay, good. Christian Alexander, what is your schedule like? My what? daily schedule from 8 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. Uh, all, all weekend uh, of day, Saturday. So Saturday is your day off. You don't work Saturday. Correct. Okay, good. What about you, Mercy? Um. Now for the emergency, my schedules are 8 a.m. Uh, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. And okay. on Saturdays, I just work uh, from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And I don't work on Sundays. Okay, good. What about you, Luis? Um, I work from Monday uh, to Friday. Okay. Uh, from home. 
I start work um, eight thirty uh, p.m. and twelve noon I um, I have the lunch. Good. After that, uh, um, five minutes uh, later, uh, later, I was I, I start working until until five thirty p.m. Okay. And I don't have time to think. Okay. Well, you say you finish at 5.30. 5 <laughs> You finish at 5.30. Okay. okay. Jimena, what about you? From this pandemic, I start to work at 7 p.m. and finish at 12.30. Okay. From Monday to Friday. Okay, so do you have to be connected at seven in the morning? Sometimes. Sometimes. Not, not always. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Christian Omar, what is your schedule like? Okay, my usual schedule is, is from 9 a.m. to 5, uh, I'm sorry, to 6 p.m. From Monday to Friday. On Saturday, I work at or from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay, so Saturday is your short day. Yeah. Okay, good. What about you, Maria del Carmen? Okay, for this pandemic, I I work uh, every other day from mon mon Monday. Sunday, and I work from 3 p.m. at 7 a.m. Very good. Did you hear the expression she used? She says, I work every other day. Do you remember the meaning of every other day? No. <laughs> uh huh. What's the meaning of every other day, class? Exactly. So he says, I work every other day. So every other day. Every other day. All right, good. Every other day. What about you, Rocio? In some case, I um, talk every other day. Okay. And what time do you start working? I start work to 8 a.m. Okay, and what time do you finish? At 5, for the pandemic, 4 p.m., but normally 5.30 p.m. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. What about you, Araceli? What is your schedule like? We can hear you. Hello. Yes, Araceli. What time do you start working? I start 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday at Friday. And Saturday, I start 8, finish 12. Okay. So Saturday is your short day? Yes. Okay. Yes, short day. All right. Good. What about you, Helen Mercedes? What is your schedule like? Me? Yes. What time do you start um, working? Before the emergency, from the seven to five, or when I finish my work. Uh huh. And during the pandemic, um, from seven to three, um, sometimes I, I have to. Uh, do some uh, schedules like Maria okay. from 3 p.m. to 7 a.m. So that's the difference during the pandemic. Okay, all right. Yes. And you, Samuel, what is your schedule like? I start at 7 a.m. and I don't have a specific hour to finish. Okay. And what are your days off? Uh, the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, good, good. And you, Marcela, what is your schedule like? 
start to work at 9 p.m. Okay. To 4 p.m. 9 to 4. Yes. Okay, good, very good. All right. Uh, did I miss anybody? Did everybody answer uh, yours, what is, your schedule is like? Yes? I, 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 okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No, no teacher. No, teacher. Okay, so once again, thank you very much for your time, your effort. I know connecting from 8 to 10 p.m. is not that easy, but remember that every effort has a reward. So my Except. words to you guys is like, uh, don't stop coming to class and uh, you will see your results as we move on. So thank you very much. I will be seeing you Monday at eight o'clock. You guys have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See ya.